Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can save hours when getting started with a new VR project. Now, if you don't know, last week I announced on my main channel the return of the VR Jam in 2023, a 7 days game jam that will start really soon, June 23rd, and that is why I decided to create this free VR template for you to build upon that I think can help you save some time to work on your jam or for any of your other projects. So without further ado, let's have a look at what's inside. But before, you would thank you to my Patreon, which are the one making it possible for me to make this. And if like them, you want to support my work and get access to exclusive content, join us. The link is in the description. Okay, so here I am in my VR starting template. You will be able to download it for free, of course, with the GitHub link you will find in the description. But now let's click on play to have a look at what's inside. Okay, so the starter project is separated in two scenes. We are here in the starter scene that has a little menu. Now for the VR setup, I have a hand presence, a ray to interact with the UI, and I can also turn with the right joystick. Anyway, with the ray, we will be able now to interact with this simple menu. We will have a start button to go to the main game scene that we will cover in a few minutes. But if I click on the option button, this is where you can find some options for the volume of the game and the turn type. By the way, the turn type uses a player preference to remember what the player chose between play session. And of course, you can add any option that you'd like for your game here and take even inspiration from what I did with the turn option. Then, if I go back, we have also the about and quit button. Now, the quit button is straightforward, but for the about, you can edit here the text to write any information you'd like to share about your game or maybe even about yourself. Now, of course, everything can be customized. If I leave play mode, then go to materials, gradient skybox, you can change here the color of the skybox to what you want. You can also go to the game title and in the text option, Change it to the name of your game. Even more, I also already imported in this project different font for you to choose from and that we can change here. Okay, so now, before showing you the game scene, I want to talk about two more things in this scene. The audio manager and the scene transition manager. So the audio manager can be seen here. It is a script I'm using in a lot of projects that I learned from this Brackies tutorial. And you can basically create a new sound, add the clip you want with the volume, the pitch, and add another source to it or not. And with this script, you can then call it anywhere with the name of the sound that you want to be played, which makes the audio so much easier to handle in any game. For example, I have here a bunch of sound that I added for the user interface. By the way, these audio are from Kenny Audio Pack. Now, if you don't know, Kenny is an organization that offers thousands of free assets for game developers. So this is an amazing resource for Game Jam in particular. And I already added full sound pack on this project for you to use. Now, let me show you how I use the audio manager. If I go to one of the buttons, as you can see, I added this UI audio script, which takes three name variables. And if I open this script, there you go, it simply calls the audio manager dot instance dot play with the corresponding name. And this is how you can trigger any sound very easily from the audio manager. Now let's go back to Unity. Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you is the scene transition manager. Now this manager is from a tutorial that I made a while back that will fade your screen and switch to any scene that you want. And that's what I did in my case when the player click on the start function. If I go to game menu UI, open the game start menu script, as you can see in the start game function, I call the scene transition manager dot singleton dot go to scene async to go to the main game scene that I'm going to show you now. Anyway, now let's go back to Unity and let's click on play again. There you go, now let's go to the main scene by clicking on the start game. Amazing, the screen has fade in and fade out and I'm now in a new scene. Now, on this scene, to help you with the different interaction of your game, what I did was already set up some interactable from the Unity XR Toolkit. 
By the way, these interactable are taken from the big Unity XR example scene, which I covered in this tutorial, so go watch it if you want to learn more about it. And as you can see, I have now a nice VR setup with hand presence, teleportation using the right joystick, continuous movement and turn, ready to interact with the UI or even to grab an object. Then for the interactable, let's go to the first one. We can directly teleport with the teleport anchor here. And we can see on the first one, the basic grab interactable with the three mode, velocity, kinematic and instant, which basically change the way the movement and collision happens during the movement. Then you have some example with two end interaction. Then on the next one, we have some example of using an object while grabbing. Here on the next one, we have now an example of using a socket interactor to snap an object in place. Then again, we have more user interface that are always handy. And next, my favorite one, some 3D restricted interactable, like a lever, a wheel, a pushable button. These are really, really cool. And finally, we have a bunch of physical interactable with these grabbable that have a joint or here with this door and this drawer. And there you go. This shows you the overview of what you can find in this free template. So to sum up, a start menu with options, some font and audio asset, an audio manager, a scene transition manager, and some pre-configured interactable. And there you go. That's it for this video. I hope this will be helpful for you guys and that it can both speed up your development and make you learn something new. If there is something that is missing on this template, tell me about it in the comment section below, of course. And now, anyway, if you want to say thank you for the work I put in this template, you can of course join our community on Patreon, where you will be able to find exclusive content. Thank you for watching till the end and see you very soon. Bye bye!